Yo, what's up guys? Lone coming at you with a quick video on some example circuits that I have made within Rust Edit to make your electricity needs a little bit easier, hopefully. Um, I know the electricity in Rust Edit's a little bit different than in-game. And just before I go over the rest of the video with you of me running through some of these circuits, kind of in a compilation, I wanted to point out a few things that you should know whilst watching the examples that I've made. Now, one thing to know is with the generator here, you have infinite outputs, meaning you can output to as many different things as you'd like. You don't have to use a splitter. It's not required. You can do whatever you'd like as far as outputs go. That's the first thing I wanted to mention. Additionally, you'll see me use these card readers and push buttons quite a bit. These card readers, you can adjust the access level by tapping on the down arrow here to change it to a blue card or a red card, um, depending on what you want for your puzzle. Additionally, you can set the output power duration to whatever the seconds you would like. I believe the default is 10 or 15. You can set that to 60 or 9,999, whatever you would like to. So generally, 10 to 20 is about average. Same thing with the push button. It also has a timer length, so you can set that as well to whichever amount of seconds that you would like. Just wanted to mention those two things. Additionally, you have the door manipulator. One thing to note is this does have to be on the hinge side of the door because if it's not, if it's on the other side, it won't actually work. Um, even though the placement says it's true, this will not function. This will not actually open up the door. So make sure it's on the hinge side and the placement valid is set to true. So if it's up here where it says false, it's not going to open your door. So make sure it's in the, uh, it's in the middle range of your hinges. You can hide this piece inside walls if you'd like to. It doesn't have to be visible. Just make sure it says the valid placement is true. It's on the hinge side. One more thing is with the door itself. Um, there is a known bug where the door, when placed in Rust Edit on custom maps, it will have this invisible barrier, basically where the open part of the door is. So let's say if we were in the game and the door is open, let's just put it in its open position. So let's say if the door opens this way, by default, this door is going to have like an invisible barrier right here, even though there's not even a door there. So how to fix that is setting the X value to zero. That won't actually make the door black or look like this in game. It's just making it to where its barrier is almost non-existent. So leaving it at one is going to make it to where that invisible barrier is there. Setting it to zero is going to make it to where so highly recommend you do that um, just because it will save you hassle later on. But just wanted to point out those few things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get on with the video and go ahead and play some music and let you see how I made some of these circuits here. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. I wanna see the light. All right, guys, first of all, I want to thank you for making it this far into the video. Um, there are a couple more things I would like to mention, and these are a few exclusive pieces for Rust Edit, or at least that are a little bit different than what's in game. So we have three different devices. We have the CCTV camera statics, which are the ones that you would have on monuments. 
Um, you have the sentry scientists, which are the outpost guns that are for Peacekeeper. And then we have the SAM site. Um, all three of these are super easy. There's no IO required, though you can set up IO for the SAM site if you needed to have like a toggle switch for players to turn on and off if you would like to. However, I'm not going to go over that one. Um, let's go ahead and start with the SAM static though. So to spawn this in, you basically just go to the prefab list in the top of your Rust edit and search SAM static. First one that pops up, you can just drag and drop it wherever you would like. Super easy. That's about it. Um, you don't have to load it up with ammo. It automatically comes with infinite ammo. So that's, that's pretty much the SAM static. The sentry scientists are about the same. In the editor, you just search sentry. It's the sentry scientist static. These uh, will have a 30 minute, I believe, cooldown time. So if somebody's hostile for 30 minutes, it will still shoot them. So you can place these wherever you want. These are pretty handy to make kind of safe zones. So very handy pieces. Additionally, we have the CCTV camera statics, which you just search CCTV static. As you could imagine, try and spell it. With the CCTVs, you just place them wherever you want and then kind of eyeball the angle. Um, this is, it's kind of hard to get perfect, but basically you would just get right up by the camera where it's looking at. And this is roughly what it's going to see in game. So if you needed to adjust it, you can, you can point it towards the front, wherever you would like. Once you're done setting up the camera, make sure you set the RC identifier. That way a player in game can actually view that camera. Um, I will say with setting an identifier, make sure you let your players know somewhere in like your discord or on the server these custom um, identifiers. That way they know how to look at the camera that you added to the map. So you can set these as whatever you would like. I always stick with capital letters since that's what they use in game. So you can just call it Blue House 1. And then I set this one as Blue House 26 and Blue House 27. So you can set those to whatever you want. They don't require IO, um, though you can hook up IO technically, but it's not required. You just drag and drop them wherever you want they function right out of the list so i just wanted to mention those three things right quick uh, again thank you guys so much for watching this video hope it helped you out with your electricity needs within rust edit let me know if you like more of these i can go more in depth and do some more advanced circuitry if you guys would like um, but drop a comment down below a like that would greatly help me out and then please join the discord um, i'll leave a link in the description below we have some really talented map makers in there that can definitely help you out if you have any um, newer questions that weren't covered in this video or maybe video ideas that you would like to see in the future. All right, guys, well, you have a wonderful rest of the day and I hope you stay safe.